So hey guys, I just wanted to put a quick video out where I go over some concerns that I have about 2042. As you all know, we are quickly approaching the release date of this game and a lot of us are banking on it to entertain us for a long time. So the first thing I want to touch on is cheating. Supposedly, cheats have already been made for 2042 and are being sold as we speak. The rapid production of these cheats can be attributed to a security failure at DICE or EA where the Frostbite engine source code was leaked a few weeks ago. These cheats seem to be readily available for the proposed beta coming this month, with many Battlefield players already having a sour taste in their mouths from the lack of cheating regulation in Battlefield 5, the 2042 beta riddled with cheaters serves only to reduce any confidence in DICE and EA further. Rampant cheating in the beta could lead to big problems for DICE and EA, with the image of the game being damaged beyond repair even before release. We have been informed that DICE and EA are going to be utilising Easy Anti-Cheat as an anti-cheat solution. This system has been proven to be effective on other titles such as Apex Legends and Fortnite, but its effectiveness on Battlefield is untested and it may not be fully implemented in time for the beta. DICE and EA need to get their anti-cheat right, there's no two ways about it. With the cheats seemingly available from day one, a good anti-cheat system will make or break the game in a matter of weeks or even days. The one caveat to the cheating situation is the live service model EA is implementing for 2042. For a live service model to be profitable, the game must have longevity. And for the game to have longevity, it must have an effective anti-cheat solution. So from this, we can take a little bit of confidence. It's in EA's best interest to make this game last as long as possible, which ultimately is us, the player's interest as well, obviously subject to the quality of the game. So the next worrying topic I'd like to talk about is the timing of the beta. DICE recently confirmed via Twitter that the beta would be happening in the month of September, something that the community had sort of worked out based on previous Battlefield games pre-launch events and all of that kind of stuff. As most of you probably know, 2042 is scheduled for release on October 15th for early access pre-orders, so a beta in September doesn't actually leave a huge amount of time for the devs to make any changes based on the data collected during the beta tests. I've seen a lot of talk amongst the community that this means that the game is behind schedule and that DICE are running out of time. I'm not really sure that that's true, I'm not sold on that, and I'm going to go over my theory now. You might think I'm crazy or stupid, that's fine, it's just opinion. So yeah, I see the playtest as more of a true beta build, where the data gathering is top priority, then the September beta is kind of a game demo. Now, this is for a few reasons. The first of which is that DICE claimed that they were ahead of schedule not too long ago, and that the game was shaping up nicely. A delayed beta would not fit within the narrative that the game was ahead of schedule meaning it was planned to release sometime in September, be that late or early. The second reason is that a benefit of pre-order is early access to the open beta. EA wants to maximise their pre-orders, as for them, it's pretty much free money on top of the actual game sale. So what better way to create more pre-order sales than provide a nice looking and near finished beta product? If you remember previous titles, that had betas like Battlefront 2015 and Battlefield 1, those betas played really, really well and looked extremely polished. From my memory, they pretty much served as balancing testing grounds for the most part. EA can use this to entice early access purchasers so that players in return receive a week of 2042 early access on release. So yeah guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. I know it was a lot of waffle, but I wanted to make sure my points could be understood easily. And yeah, that's pretty much all from me. Um, hope you enjoy the video tomorrow. Should be a cracker. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care.